this module we are going to talk about echocardiographic assessment of a patient who comes to you in intensive care. Over the last decade, there has been a paradigm shift in the way in which we look at patients who come into intensive care and try and assess their hemodynamics. The stethoscopes of the 21st century have really changed the way we look at medicine in intensive care. The stethoscopes have been replaced by x-rays, x-rays have been replaced by CT scans and what is important now is seeing is believing and unless you see what is happening, it is very difficult to interpret with all the catheters and the other module, modules which we have to assess a patient's hemodynamics as to what is actually happening with the patient. So intensive care echocardiography is a different speciality in itself which has come up. Why do we want to do echoes in ICU? The important fact is surprises are very common in ICU. Any patient who comes to you and is shocked and is not responding to standard therapy mandates an echo absolutely. Any patient who comes to you in shock, a response to therapy still requires an echocardiographic assessment to be done as soon as it's feasible. Also, majority of the patients can be easily examined using a transthoracic module as well as a transesophageal modules in a very limited number of indications which may be required. So what we are going to talk predominantly about today is the transthoracic examination of a patient who comes to you in intensive care. My important slogan for this would be when we want to do an echo in a patient, you do it when you think you want to do it. And then what is important in ICU is to do a follow-up study so that we know that whatever intervention was decided or implemented based on your echocardiographic assessment is working or not. So the logo would be just do it when you think of it and then please do it again. The question often asked is, do ICU echoes differ? Do they differ from the standard cardiology echoes? Of course, the cardiologists over the last couple of decades have established themselves as experts in intensive care as well as in OPD echocardiography. However, I think there is a subtle difference which we need to understand that ICU echoes are a little bit different and the information sought is a bit different. How is it different? Often we have sedated and ventilated patients who are supine and who don't come into a proper position for a, for a proper echocardiographic assessment to be done which would be a preferred position, we are left lateral position. They are covered with large dressings and they often have tubes coming out. So the, the area in which the assessment is done over the chest wall is often limited and it is, it is difficult assessment to be done. The equipment. Are